afternoon. How are you guys today? How was your morning? How was your afternoon? I thought this afternoon we can go to the market. Now, usually when we go to the market, we're all holding hands in a circle and we go around in the circle, kind of like a ring around the rosies while we sing the song and we have someone standing in the middle and we ask them what they want in their hair. We're going to do it a little differently since we're all in our homes. Um, so you can march going to the market. You can skip around. You can run to the market. <laughs> However you want to go to the market. You can just walk around your house to go to the market. Um, swing in your arms. Uh, however you want to move around your house to go to the market. You don't need to hold someone's hand. Um, and then I will ask you what you want in your hair. We'll sing it a couple times so other people in, in your house might be able to have a turn too. You ready? We're going to the market. We're going to the fair. We're going with, say your name. And with, what do you have in your hair? In their hair. So shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it if you can. Shake it like a milkshake and drink it in the can. The rumba to the bottom and rumba to the top. And turn around and turn around and turn around and stop. All right. Let's sing it one more time. Who, remember to say who you are. And what you're going to have in your hair. Think about what you might want in your hair. It can be anything. Some people even want food in their hair or people in their hair or toys in their hair. Whatever you want. Ready? We're going to the market. We're going to the fair. We're going with, with, in their hair. So shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it if you can. Shake it like a milkshake and drink it in a can. Then rumba to the bottom and rumba to the top and turn around and turn around and turn around and stop. Woo! <laughs> Get a little bit dizzy turning around and turning around so much. Okay, now we're going to do a song on the ground so you can sit down. Now I'm going to put this down so that you can see. We will be little weasels popping. Um, so, there's a couple ways you can do this. Pop goes the weasel. You can be running around, ch the monkey chasing the weasel, running and running and running, and or you can be the weasel whichever one you want to do. So it, we'll do it both ways. How about that? You might just see my legs and that's okay. So first I'm going to be the monkey running around and then I'm going to get scared by the weasel when he pops. Okay? So first we're going to be chasing that weasel all the way around. All around. Oh, I might even put something in the middle to run around. All around the cobbler's bench, the monkey chased the weasel. The monkey thought it was all in fun. Pop! Oh! Goes the weasel. <laughs> the weasel scared me. Penny for a spool of thread, a penny for a needle. That's the way the money goes. Pop! Goes the weasel. He popped and scared me again. Okay, now I'm going to be the weasel which means I am going to be very still. Okay, all, and we go a little bit slower for this one. All around the cobbler's bench, the monkey chased the weasel. The monkey thought it was all in fun. Pop goes the weasel. Penny for a spool of thread, a penny for a needle. That's the way the money goes. Pop goes the weasel. Oh, that's fun. I like that one. Okay, next, I'm going to 
sing a little bit of uh, Oh Me Oh My. I don't think we've sung this in a long time. The way this one goes is I usually ask the kids um, something that they can do. Like, can they put on their shoes? Uh, some th can they feed themselves? Can they wash their own hands? Can they look at a book by themselves? So I ask them what they like to do, and then we pick something like an animal or a person. So I'll sing the song, and then you'll understand how this goes. Oh, me. Oh, my. What'll I do? I can't find an elephant to tie my shoe. But I know what, and so do you. You don't need an elephant to tie your shoe. No, you don't need an elephant to tie your shoe. What else could we pick? Maybe we picked, um, we don't need a, a dog to make our bed. <laughs> Let's try that. Okay. Oh me, oh my, what'll I do? I don't have a dog to make my bed. But I know what, and so do you. You don't need a dog to make your bed. No, you don't need a dog to make your bed. <laughs> I would love, you can tell your parents, you can pick something, some animal or person um, that you think you might need to do something, but then we realize we don't need that. You guys can figure things out. Some things we do need help on, and that's okay, but there's a lot of things you can do on your own. Okay, I am going to read a couple books because it is our month of music. I think every afternoon I'm going to read one book that's actually a song. So the first book I found is called A Tisket A Tasket. Have you ever heard this song before? This book is by Ella Fitzgerald and the song too. You can find her song um, online somewhere. She sings it. Let's see if I can sing it a little bit like her. So it's about this little girl. She has a green and yellow basket. She loves it. She wrote a letter. She put the letter in the basket. But then she lost it. Let's see. A tisket a tasket. Well, it's sorry. It's about the boy that had the basket and he wrote the letter. My goodness. A tisket, a tasket, a green and yellow basket. I wrote a letter to my mommy. But on the way I dropped it, I dropped it, I dropped it. My little yellow basket. A little girlie picked it up and took it to the market. She was trucking on down the avenue without a single thing to do. She went peck, peck, pecking all around when she set it on the ground. She took it, she took it, my little yellow basket. And if she doesn't bring it back, I think that I shall die. A tisket, a tasket, I lost my yellow basket. And if that girlie don't return it, I don't know what I'll do. Oh dear, I wish that little good could see. Have you seen her over there? Everyone's looking. Oh gee, I wonder where my basket could be. Have you seen my basket over here? Was it red? No, 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 no. She found something. That's not it. Was it brown? No, 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 no. Nope, that's not his basket. 
Was it blue? No, 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 just a little yellow basket. That's not even a basket. <laughs> it's a balloon. <laughs> a tisket, a tasket. I found my yellow basket. I thought I lost it to that girly, but I found it after all. I think she returned it. I think she saw that he was looking all over for it. So it was about this boy that had a basket, and he wrote a letter to his mom, but then he lost it, and a girl found it. But I think it was really nice. She saw that he was looking for it, and she gave it back. That's so nice. Okay, last story. Just realized this is a little bit crooked. Sorry. Song and Dance Man by Karen Ackerman. Boy, he's having fun. Oh dear, it's falling apart. Grandpa was a song and dance man who once danced on the vaudeville stage. When we visit, he tells us about a time before people watched TV. Back in the good old days, the song and dance days. There was a time when there was no TV, no computers, no phones, no iPads. Supper in an hour, Grandma calls from the kitchen. I wonder if my tap shoes still fit, Grandpa says with a smile. Then he turns on the light to the attic, and we follow him up the steep wooden steps. Faded posters of Grandpa when he was young hang on the walls. He moves some cardboard boxes and a rack of Grandma's winter dresses out of the way, and we see a dusty brown leather trim trunk in the corner. As soon as Grandpa opens it, the smell of cedar chips and old things fills the attic. Inside his shoes with the silver half-moon taps on the toes and heels, bowler hats and top hats, vests with stripes and matching bows are all in there. We try on the hats and pretend we're dancing on a vaudeville stage where the bright lights twinkle and the piano player nods his head along with the music. They're all putting on his costumes that he wore. After wiping his shoes with a cloth, he calls a chamois. Grandpa puts them on. He tucks small white pads inside the shoes so, it's, so it won't hurt his feet, and he turns on the lamps and aims each one like a spotlight. He sprinkles a little powder on the floor, and it's showtime. We sit on one of Grandpa's woolen blankets, clap our hands, and call out, Yay, Grandpa! The song and dance man begins to dance the old soft shoe. His feet move slowly at first, while his tap shoes make soft, slippery sounds like rain on a tin roof. We forget that it's Grandpa dancing, and we, all we can hear is the silvery tap of two feet. And all we can see is a song and dance man gliding across the vaudeville stage. He says, watch this, and he does a new step that sounds like a woodpecker tapping on a tree. Suddenly, his shoes move faster, and he begins to sing. His voice is round and strong as a cannon echo, and his cheeks get rosy as he sings. Yankee Doodle Boy, a song he knows from the good old days. There were too many dance steps and too many words in the song for us to remember, but the show is better than any show on TV. The song and dance man stops and leans forward with a wink. What's that in your ear, he asks, and he pulls a silver daughter, dollar out of somebody's hair. He's playing the banjo. He rolls his bowler hat down his arm and catches it in his hand and flips it back onto his head. Know how to make an elephant float, he asks. One scoop of ice cream, two squirts of soda, and three scoops of elephant. <laughs> we heard that joke before, but the song and dance man slaps his knee and laughs until his eyes water. 
He tries to wipe them with the red hanky from his vest pocket. But the hanky just gets longer and longer. As he pulls it out, he looks so surprised that we start laughing too. And it feels like the whole attic is shaking with laughter. Sometimes we laugh so hard the hiccups start and Grandpa stops to bring us a glass of water from the bathroom. Drink slow and hold your breath, he says, or I'll have to scare you to get rid of the hiccups. Once our hiccups are gone, he gets a gold-tipped cane and a black silk tap hat from the trunk. He lowers his eyes and tips the hat, and he's standing very still. All the lights are turned low except one that shines on his shoes. It's the grand finale, so the song and dance man takes a deep breath. He lifts the cane and holds it in both hands. Slowly, he starts to tap. His shoes move faster and faster, and the sounds coming from them are too many to make with only two feet. He spins and jumps and into the air, touching the stage again. He kneels with his arms spread out, and the silk top hat and gold tip cane lie side by side at his feet. His shoes are still, and the show is over. He's making music with his feet. We stand up together and clap our hands, shouting, Hooray! More! But Grandpa only smiles and shakes his head, all out of breath. He takes off his tap shoes, wraps them gently in the chamois cloth, and puts them back in the leather trim trunk. He carefully folds his vest and lays the top hat and cane on it, and we follow him to the stairway. Grandpa holds on to the rail as we go down the steps. At the bottom, he hugs us, and we tell him we wish we could have seen him dance in the good old days, the song and dance days. He smiles and whispers that he wouldn't trade a million good old days for the days he spends with us. But as he turns off the attic light, Grandpa glances back up the stairs, and we wonder how much he really misses that time on the vaudeville stage when he was a song and dance man. How fun! Okie dokie, artichokies! I hope you have a lovely afternoon and a peaceful evening and night. And I will see you tomorrow.